So, is it Angela? Oh, good to see you again. Are you the one I need to talk to? Uh, I have some questions. Be Kelly, what's your role here? Do you think of Dr. Hildren? I guess it's right. not her. So, is it him? This jackass again. Yes, something. Hopefully he's not still mad that I oh. uh, took his stuff. What do you think of NCR chances? Operation OSI. Uh, goodbye. Um, what? I Hildern is a good example of big picture obsession gone too far. At some point, he became so fixated on large-scale results that he lost the concept of the common good along the way. It's an inhumane kind of public service when people and the basic resources they need become numbers in a ledger. Hmm. Well, good thing there are still people like you around. Oh, that's very sweet. I'm sure he means well. Uh, but it, it all just comes down to numbers anyway. Well... Let's compliment him, I guess. Kind of you to say, but there are better people than me around here. I just hope the followers can make a difference in the long run. Okay. I need to talk to you about something, if you have a minute. You just talked to me about something. Can we get move on? I'm trying to find who I need to talk to to get the happy spices or something. Or some uh, form of happy spice that I would love to get for these people. But I don't know if it really helped them in combat situations. It's not the kind of thing you want in combat situations, but still, yeah, sure. Any day now, Caesar's going to try to march across Hoover Dam and kick NCR out of the Mojave. We're getting caught up in something important out here. Hell, after how you handled Benny, you're practically right in the middle of all this. I know I'm just along for the ride, but it's made me think about the past and how I might be able to help out. How do you know about Benny? I mean, I... You weren't even around for Benny. I killed Benny a long time before I even got you to come following with me. And by the way, Caesar's dead. I've been saying that for a while now. Caesar's Legion is, yeah, it's still his Legion, but it is, it's not really Caesar's Legion because Caesar's dead. What the hell? Um, yeah. What are you talking about? Uh, what are you talking about? I wasn't always with the followers or with the NCR. My late father was an officer in a group called the Enclave. A remnant of America's pre-war government. Memories being short around here, not a whole lot of people remember them. But they did bad things. Terrorized communities, kidnap people. Eventually someone stopped them. I was born a few years later at a military base on the coast, a place called Navarro. Hmm. So typical government stuff, right? <laughs> Evil government types uh, in the Enclave. So he was a member of the Enclave. Well, not really a member of the Enclave, more of a descendant of the Enclave. Uh, where did the Enclave go? I mean, we've got the Brotherhood down in Hidden Valley. So, yeah. A lot of different places. I only know what I was told. Some of them were cut down by the NCR and the Brotherhood. Some of them went east. My mother never told me what happened to my father, but she and I went south with some others and integrated into the NCR. When the NCR learned that Enclave personnel had integrated, we kept moving to the fringes. It's one of the reasons why I wound up out here. Hmm. Where are you going with all of this? A very good question. What the hell do you... What are, what are we, what's so important about this? This is ancient history. The Enclave isn't important anymore. Hell, the Brotherhood is all but dead in this area. So, yeah. Where are you going? The Enclave did a lot of bad things. But there were good people at Navarro. Good people with a lot of experience. Not many of them are alive anymore but I think they can make a difference in the fight against Caesar. Hmm. Do you want them to help the NCR? Say no more, I'll do it. Do you, do you want to help the NCR? I mean, weren't the Enclave kind of cut down by the NCR? Uh, yeah. That's a hard question to answer. I know I don't want the Legion to take Hoover Dam. So militarily, yes, I want them to help NCR. If possible, I'd like to figure out a way to help the NCR win Hoover Dam without holding New Vegas. <laughs> well, I may have a way to do that with a giant robot army at my disposal. I have plans to do this, that, and take Vegas for myself. And you and I can run it, along with everybody else at Lucky 38. I'm sure uh, everyone would be happy to have you along for the ride, as you said. So, yeah, say no more, I'll do it. Great. I'd like you to talk to the old-timers, the remnants. I don't think I can convince them by myself. To them, I'm still a kid. But you're a big part of what's happening out here. 
When you talk to them, they'll understand how important this all is. I've kept in contact with them over the years, so I know where you can find them. But I doubt they'll open up to you unless I come along. I know I'm not always the most serious guy around, but this means a lot to me. Thanks. It's not that you're not serious. It's that you're kind of boring. I mean, you're always serious. You're very serious. Crack a joke or something. You, you're just serious. Not the same way serious that Boone was serious. Serious, he was just grim serious. You're just boring serious. So, yeah. Ask Dr. Hendry, Daisy Whitman, Cannibal Johnson, Brian Morano, Judah Krieger. Uh, okay. So he wants me to go talk to all these people. Um, but I want to go... Uh, should we go do that, or should we continue on with this? Because I've got this quest, Whitewash. To help out the missing corporal for old Lang Zines. Where exactly do I have to go for this? Holy crap, i got to go all over the damn place. Uh, ooh, Jacobstown. Wait a minute, is that the doctor I met before? And, uh, Cannibal Johnson's... Cannibal Johnson's cave? Um, I didn't even know there was a cave there. And... Sharecropper Farms. So, I basically have to go all over the damn place. And this one... Novak. Wait, there's one in Novak? Uh, it's been a while since I've been to Novak. And I am in the middle of a building, so I can't fast travel. Okay, let's head out. Let's go talk to some of these people, at least. And then I will go and try and help find whoever, whatever happened to this missing guy. Uh, let's see. Let's head back to Novak. It's been a while. Ever since I got all my crap out of Novak, I've kind of just left the place. Uh, hopefully it hasn't been taken over by the Legion. Hopefully, everyone's not dead. Which is a problem. I mean, this guy's still here. Uh, traveling merchant. Which is weird. He hasn't really been traveling all that much. And why is he wearing that? that? I've been saying this ever since I sold it to him. Why are you wearing it, man? You shouldn't be wearing that. Not around here. This will get you killed. And why are you still standing here? You're supposed to be a traveling merchant, not a stationary merchant. I mean, look at this guy. Or these guys, girls, whatever. These are traveling merchants. They're actually coming and then leaving. You, you're, you've been standing here for months now. Loitering. You're a loitering merchant. That's what you are. You're not a traveling merchant. You're a loitering merchant. Is it because you don't have any more mercenaries helping you, protecting you? I mean, that's a real problem. I, I guess that is a problem. I'd be scared to run around wearing Legion armor through NCR territory without any mercenary help. But still, it's no excuse for loitering. Uh, Daisy Whitman. How's the NCR gonna protect Vegas if it can't even protect its own president? My thoughts exactly. How are they going to do that? I mean, I could have protected the president, but I didn't do that, so yeah. Uh. Your travel's been going all right? Oh, yes. Very all right, indeed. Arcade asked me to find you. I'm reuniting the remnants, and they'll be need your piloting skills. Wait a minute, you were a pilot. That's right. She Didn't she say that before? I talked to her before. Told you everything about us, did he? Well, it's been a while since I've had my hands on the controls of a vertebrate. There's a chance I could crash us in the middle of Lake Mead. That place seems to attract aircraft for some reason. But if I get one more chance to fly... Count me in. I'll be there. My part of the past phrase is dear. Okay. How did you like flying vertebrates for the Enclave? Yes, how did you like that? I was never happier than when I was in the cockpit. I was able to go just about anywhere and everywhere, limited only by the fuel I could carry. There were more than a few missions where I took the scenic route home just so I could stay in the air. Caught hell for it every time, but worth it. Some of the things we did were questionable, I know. That's just how it was back then. Figure I've done enough good to make up for any sins, anyhow. Okay, well, nice to meet you. Watch your six out there. Well, she always seemed Since nice. Since my mother died, Daisy's been the only woman in my life. She was the only other woman close to my father, too. She flew him out on over a dozen missions, including his last. I've always been close to Daisy. There have been some good men along the way, but lovers make poor confidants. 
Daisy never had children of her own, so she was always there to listen. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. She just loved to fly. It broke her heart to be grounded. Oh, that's so sweet. And sad. Sadly sweet. Uh, part of her life, why shouldn't she enjoy it? If it was an important part of her life, why shouldn't she enjoy it? Uh, uh, why shouldn't she? Some people can't stop reliving their glory days. Uh, yeah. As screwed no. up as it sounds, at least she was a part of something. Granted, it was something admittedly pretty bad, but it was something. If you spent the first half of your life flying Enclave troopers in a vertebrate, I suppose picking over pre-war rocket parts doesn't quite compare. Nope. I'm guessing it wouldn't compare at all. Scavenging in the wasteland versus flying around in a vertebrate. Yeah, no comparison whatsoever. Uh, that's an understatement arcade. An understatement a year. Uh, so, where to next? Where to next? Uh, let's see. Well, this one is in Jacobstown. I'm guessing it's the doctor that fixed Rex's brain. The doctor that fixed Rex's brain. So he was a member of the Enclave. Unless there was another human somewhere around here. Huh. You know, I haven't actually looked around this place and... Wouldn't you know it? There's a freaking snow globe right here. Uh, is there anything else around? I'll look, at, I'll look through the building once I... Ooh... Ooh, is there anything here? Aside from super mutants and random crap? Uh, maybe. There might actually be some, uh, star bottle caps. I'll need to take a look after I talk to the doctor. So, let's see. Is this the doctor? Is this the guy I need to talk to? Or is it the ghoul lady calamity? No, it's not the calamity. It is Doc Henry. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes, apparently you were in the Enclave. I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Oh, you'll need my word from the past phrase to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. Okay. How goes your research on the Nightkin? You're a scientist as far as another human here. Huh. Yes, yes. So what would have happened... Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. Hmm. So, impassive, indifferent, and purely logical and clinical. Eh, I can see that. His work was what mattered to him. It seems pointless to do all of that without a goal. Huh. Yeah, it does seem kind of pointless. Doing all the crap he was doing with the Enclave would probably be pointless unless there was some ultimate goal for it. Yeah. Well, eh, well, okay. I'm sure Henry has goals. He was just more concerned with the how than the why of things. Being in the Enclave didn't really mean much to him. I guess I'm lucky that I'm part of the followers. Helping people as a doctor is important, but with the followers, it feels different. It feels like we're working towards something more important. That's more than the sum of the good deeds that we do. To attack Hoover Dam. Good thing I ain't there. Um, well, if... Arcade's plan goes a lot goes right. You are gonna be there. Um, did you hear that? He doesn't want to go. Why are you making this poor old man go? You evil, heartless man, Arcade. Look at him. He's frail. He's old. He doesn't want to go. I don't know. Why aren't they taking care of regular folks yet? Uh, okay, let's take a look around, and then I'll head on to the others.